Hey everybody, it's me Fadi and welcome to Fadi Aquarium channel. Today I'll start a new series about the different types of corals. In every episode I'll talk about one kind of coral and the different requirements of flow and lightning and placement in the tank in addition and how to feed it and propagate these corals. Frags of these corals and many more will be available in Jordan at rifamoras.com and in Saudi Arabia at aqualifekse.com I'll start talking about one of the easiest SPS to keep, Montipora corals. Montipora corals are known for rapid growth, different growth shapes and attractive colors. Growth shapes can be plating, encrusting or branching. The colors range from intense bright green, purple, red and orange. Some Montipora species grow faster than any other corals found on the reef. Montipora corals generally grow without problems, even in new and young reef aquariums. Because of this, beginner reefer that wants to start keeping SPS corals should start out with Montipora. Montipora capricornis and similar species are probably the most popular scoring corals in the reef aquarium hobby. Monticaps are less demanding than most other types of SPS corals like Acropora. Depending on flow and lightning, Montis can develop into different shapes and colors in captivity than they would in the wild. Many of the Monticaps sold in the aquarium livestock trade are not truly Montipora capricornis, they are actually Montipora filiosa. Montipora filiosa is the most common baiting Montipora. It grows in a similar colony shape to capricornis, but the polyps form rows in between ridges running vertically from the center to the outer edges of the plates. Encrusting Montes grows over the surface and attach themselves to rocks and surfaces. Branching Montes, like the Montipora digitata, grows in stacks and branches similar to Acropora corals. Some Montes, like Montipora hirsuta and Citosa, grows in very unique shapes. They combine all three growth shapes, plating, branching and encrusting, which make them an interesting addition to any reef aquarium. Montipora likes bright reef lightning to prevent bleaching to be sure to always acclimate your corals gradually to the lightning when you get new corals or when you change the light fixture or change bulbs. If your Montipora is becoming more pale or white, it needs to be better acclimated to your lights or moved a bit lower in the aquarium. If you notice your Monty is turning brown and losing its bright coloration, it may not be getting enough light. High nutrients in the water like phosphates and nitrates can also cause Montipora to turn brown by overgrowth of the zoanthellae algae inside the corals. Montes also needs high turbulent flow. As most SPS corals, the minimum tank flow should be 40 times per hour of the tank size. That means for a 100 gallon tank, you would need a 4000 gallon per hour. When you try to place your Monty caps, try to avoid adding any corals under it. When the Monty grows into plates, it will prevent the light from reaching any corals under it. Maintain and balance calcium, magnesium, pH and alkalinity. The best way to supplement these elements is a calcium reactor or dosing. I talked about dosing and all these elements in how to build and maintain a reef tank series in episode from 16 to 18. In medium and high bio load aquariums, there is no need to feed Montipora corals. If your reef tank has a low fish bio load, dosing amino acid supplements will feed your Montipora and other SPS corals. A successful Monticap will be at some point need to be fragged to allow room for other corals in the tank. The outer ridges are usually fragile enough to easily break off by hand. Thicker plates can be trimmed with coral bone cutters. Use a coral wet saw if you want to turn an entire colony into frags quickly without stressing them. Wet saws continually cool the plate with water and cut cleanly. You can also add few drops of iodine dip to the water in the saw while cutting. A wet saw is also the best way to frag encrusting montes. With encrusting montes, you will need to remove the entire rock to frag them properly. Some reefer use a dremel tool, but it isn't as quick as wet saw keeping the coral out of the water long enough to stress them. Dremel blades can also heat the tissue too much and cause damage. After cutting your frags, simply glue them to coral blocks with super glue. You can use epoxy and glue to attach larger pieces to rocks. If you have different colors of the same species of Monty, you can graft these pieces together to create a multicolored colony. Make cuts that will allow the frags pieces to fit together. Sometimes the corals don't fuse well and remain two separate colonies while forming an obvious skeletal boundary. In this case, they will remain two separate colonies. This usually happens when the two corals are from different species. So if you want to start keeping SPS corals, Montipora corals are some of the excellent options to start with. 
They are relatively easy to keep and comes in many colors and shapes. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you soon in the next video.